As of uh, this is GF Laserbolt from GamerFusion.com and welcome guys today to an exciting day in Destiny Sleeper Simulator Hype! Sleeper Simulator Hype! Today we're doing the Devil Spire which is a mission you get and you unlock as soon as you complete the Firewall mission which is the quest line to the Sleeper Simulator. As you guys see, if you guys need to know the codes and the information needed to actually unlock this mission, you definitely go ahead and check out my channel. I have all the passcodes for the trans uh, for the transceivers and how you're able to unlock them. Once those are unlocked, you're going to be taken up and given this mission. Now this mission is pretty much Kate's stash, but the thing with this mission is you only have four minutes to actually get out of Kate's stash and complete this mission, which is kind of interesting. I'm probably going to replay this one again and kind of do a little bit more of exploring. And once I do the exploring, I'll probably see if there's anything here hidden that we might find. But uh, for right now, the main objective is to get rid of this. So let me explain to you guys exactly what you need to do to get this mission completed. You're going to have to hurry up, just skip everything. The only time you're going to want to have maybe a grenade or some sort of a rocket launcher is right here when you guys are going to hit this intersection. You're going to gonna want to have uh, kind of like a grenade just because you get a bunch of thralls kind of, you know, forming within the doorway. And that could prevent your movement. So just have a rocket launcher or a nade. Like for example, I'm using my Stormcaller so my nade pretty much clears everything out. Lob your nade and just keep running fast. You're also going to want to have at least some heavy ammo just because at the end of this mission you're going to encounter three witches that you have to kill and really really quickly before the time runs out so make sure you guys come prepared to take them out so in this part right now just keep running fast now you're going to be bumping into these little things which are the shadow touched and that means you're going to be slowing down your movement and there's going to be you know wizards up, up there you're going to want to go ahead and just run through them and get out of there as quickly as possible once you spawn all the way to the top you're going to notice a chest just kind of sitting there kind of like teasing you like Hmm, maybe you should pick me up. Hmm, maybe you shouldn't. Uh, just go ahead, pick it up, open up the chest. As soon as you pick up the chest, the wizards are going to start start spawning. The best spot I would suggest is going all the way to the far back, kill this witch, and then rotate to the left, and that should give you an advantage to kill the right witch and, uh, you know, kill the one in front. Now, I would suggest maybe a rocket with tracking, as you see right there, with my current rocket that I have, has no tracking, so it's a little bit more difficult to actually land and shot on them. But once you kill the first one, you can definitely focus fire on the one that's right across. If you have a tracking rocket launcher, that'd be preferable because look at this. I shot this one and it automatically moves. And then I shot it again and it moved again. So I was like, oh snaps. So I have one rocket launcher. Let me switch positions here. Let me switch sides and take out the one that's above me that was currently shooting me. And uh, once I take that one out with my super, I should be good to take out the other one as well. So right there, I went ahead, popped my super, killed the wizard, and he should be good to go and uh, completed one now. We just have one more wizard to take out. You're going to want to make sure you take them out quickly. The reason being is because they will start spawning uh, thralls at you. So you're going to want to take them out as quickly as possible. You see right there, I only have 30, almost 40 seconds left. I killed them with 35 seconds left. And bam, guys, there you have it. There you have it, fellas. The Achilles Fusion Core has been unlocked. I will be making a separate video on how, what else you need to do. But make sure you guys keep it locked in this channel. And don't forget, guys, for all things Destiny, head over to GamerFusion.com where we empower your gaming.